Five causes of climate. Latitude, elevation, ocean currents, large bodies of water, and terrain. Latitudes affect on climate. Usually, the, the closer a location is to the equator, the warmer it is. Elevations climb effect on climate. Usually, the closer a location is to the equator, the colder it is. That's what I think. Ocean and wind currents affect on climate. Warm water and warm air rise. Cool water and cool air sink, creating currents that move heat around the earth. Large bodies of water affect on climate. Locations near bodies of water like the Great Lakes generally receive greater precipitation. La large bodies of water also influence temperature. Terrans affect on climate. Mountains can affect the amount of precipitation a location receives. Temperature, degree or intensity of heat presence in a substance or object according to a comparative scale. Fahrenheit or Celsius shown by the thermometer or perceived by touch. Precipitation, rain, snow, sleet, or hail that falls to the ground. Weather, short-term description of the air in an area includes measurement of air temperature and pressure, precipitation, humidity, wind speed, and direction, cloud cover and type, atmosphere, envelope of gases surrounding the earth, climate, weather conditions prevailing in an area over a long period of time, latitude, provides this, the north slash south position of a location on earth's surface distance from the equator is expressed in degrees latitude with the equator at zero degrees lines of latitude run east to west slash west and are referred to be to as parallels top I mean tropics, a region of Earth near the equator. Between the, the Tropic of Cancer, 23.26 degrees north latitude, and Tropic of Capricorn, 23.26 degrees south latitude. Um, a po polar regions... An area near either the north or south poles. Elevation, a height above a given level, especially sea level. Current, a body of water or air moving in a definite direction, especially through a surrounding body or air in which there is less movement. Windward, facing the wind or on the, uh, on the side facing the wind. Leeward. On or toward the side, sheltered from the wind. Large bodies of water examples include the, the Caspian Sea is Asia and the Great Lakes in North America. Lake effect snow. Snow falling on the lee side of a lake generated by cold, dry air passing over warmer water, especially in the Great Lakes region, Terran, the stretch of la land usually characterized by specific physical features, rain shadow, region having little rainfall because it is sh sheltered from rain-bearing winds by a range of hills or mountains okay compare the intensity of sunlight that strikes the area near the equator to the in 
intensity of sun the sunlight that strikes the earth near the north or south poles where would it be warmer at the equator sunlight strikes area as near the equator more directly at or closer to a 90 degree angle and travels relatively shorter distance through atmosphere nearer to the poles sunlight strikes the earth indirectly at a lower angle and travels a longer distance between through i mean through earth's atmosphere Areas of the Earth where sunlight is more direct have warmer climates. As a re result, areas near the equator are much warmer than the areas near the North or South Pole. Does the intensity or amount of sunlight affect the amount of heat that an area receives? Explain. Sunlight carries energy which warms up the Earth's and is the driving force because behind all our weather and climate the more intense the sunlight is in area the warmer the warmer it will be okay the information can i mean can you determine if latitude impacts the amount of precipitation an area receives why Areas along the equator and in Earth's tropical zone tend to be more humid and do more precipitation, one con contributing factor that is the higher temperatures cause greater evaporation, which puts more water vapor into the atmosphere. And also, it says, the information provided is not significant to determine if latitude impacts the amount of precipitation an area receives. Okay, next bit. Next bit. What two things does the air do as it rises into regions of low pressure? As air rises into regions of lower pressure, it expands. It expands and cools. Generally, is the temperature of the air cooler at the summit or at the base of a mountain? The temperature of the air is cooler at the summit, peak of the mountain, than at the base. This is because the temperature of air cools as it rises. This cooling occurs at a rate of 6.5 degrees celsius per 100 1000 meters sorry 1000 meters why is there s s snow at the peak of miona key hot hot hawaii even though it is located in the tropics there is snow at the peak of miona key because it is nearly 14,000 feet above sea level and is cold enough to snow at that elevation. Can you determine if an area's elevation impacts the amount of precipitation it receives? Why or why not? Not from this section, but in another section, Taryn, we learned that heavy precipitation can occur along mountain ranges that meet winds coming off a wind ocean. In addition, the other side of the mountain range, rainfall is usually low and there, I mean, the area is said to be in a rain shadow. So in some areas, mountains can impact precipitation. Okay, what do ocean currents do? Ocean transfer heat by currents, taking hot water from the equator up to higher latitudes and cold water back down toward the equator. Ocean currents act as conveyor belts of warm 
and cold water, sending heat toward the polar regions and helping the tropical areas cool off. Do ocean co currents co warm, cool, or both warm and cool nearby land masses? Briefly explain your answer. Provide an example of how ocean currents may surprisingly impact the climate of an area. Hint. Think about the image provided of Crook Ireland. Ocean currents via the, the Gulf Stream warm the area near Cork. Cork. Ireland su sufficiently to allow palm trees normally associated with tropical areas to grow there. Cork, Ireland, by the way, is located at 52 degrees north latitude, well north on New York City. And finally, do you think ocean currents affect the amount of or type of precipitation an area receives? Why or why not? Since ocean currents carry heat away from the equator towards the areas in high latitudes, they may cause rain to fall instead of snow where the ocean currents provide warmth, especially along coastlines. Oh, oh actually, there's, actually, there's more to it. Okay, large bodies of water. Syndicus. New York is an unusually snowy city. What causes so much snow to f to to fall so regularly on Syndicus? Syndicus receives an unusual amount of snow because it is located in an area that receives lakes sn affect snow. The Great Lakes, which are near Syndicus are a source of water vapor that evaporates from the lakes. The, this water vapor is carried by cold winds over central New York State and Syndicus, and when it condenses, snow falls. How does the lake effect work? The lake, the lake effect involved water, vape, water evaporating from the Great Lakes, being carried by cold air over the land, central New York City, and falling as snow when the water vapor condenses. Anyways, Taryn, why might you find an abundant plant life and very tr tall trees in a mountainous area that faces warm ocean breezes? Large amounts of precipitation would cause cause you to find abundant plant life and very tall trees in mountainous areas that face warm ocean breezes. The mountains that face the warm ocean breezes cause precipitation to fall on their windward sides as the warm ocean breezes rises to pass over the mountains they cool as they cool clouds form as the water vapor held into the clouds cond condenses it falls as rain explain why one side of a mountain can receive a lot of rain while the other side is nearly desert like the precipitation is caused by the condense condensenses water vapor f falls on the windward side leaving little if any water vapor is carried over the mountain to the leeward side where the rain shadow is okay so that is all what i had to for the study and review so if you if you enjoy if you enjoyed this video please m leave a like Thank you all for watching this video.
Make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and let me know if you thought of it in the comment section below. 